Welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Now taking a look at this weekend's movies, here's Sean the Movie Guy. Yeah, actually, uh, we're not going to have a lot of time this week, so uh, we'll put a movie package on etveverywhere.com. But in the meantime, we want to make sure we have lots of time to talk about local theater because it's starting to heat up. Really quickly, there are two new films hitting theaters this week. The big one is The Green Hornet, the first comic book movie of the year. It's Seth Rogen starring as a rich kid who decides to become a crime fighter when his father passes away. Look, a lot of fans on the internet have been very vocal in their opposition to this movie. I do know that it's been scoring pretty well at test screenings. I haven't seen it yet, so I really can't offer my opinion, but that's the big one this week. The other one is Kevin James and Vince Vaughn in the comedy The Dilemma, a story about a guy who sees his best friend's wife cheating on him, and he can't decide whether to tell his buddy about it or not. Now, over the flicks, they still have The King's Speech and Black Swan and Jim Carrey's I Love You, Philip Morris, but check out the new one, which is Made in Dagenham, which is the story about a group of female British auto workers who took on the Ford Motor Company and eventually won the right to equal pay for women. Uh, it's a lighthearted comedy with themes of female empowerment, starring Sally Hawkins, Bob Hoskins, and Miranda Richards. Really, just a delightful British comedy. That sounds great. Now, what's coming up on DVD this week? You know, there's there's a couple. There's Piranha, Alpha and Omega, but like I tell you, the big one, and really the only one on DVD this week, is The Social Network, which is the number three film of my uh, best films of last year. Look, Social Network is notable for David Fincher's direction, for Aaron Sorkin's writing, an incredible screenplay. Just a really good, good movie and stuff. Wonderful stuff, both because of the themes it touches about privacy and social media and the founding of Facebook, but just a great drama. I mean, this one has won the Houston Film Critics Association Best Film of the Year, which I'm a member of, uh, the Broadcast Film Critics Association, which we're going to vote on this weekend. I suspect it's uh, it's one of the front runners for the Academy Award, both on uh, you know the King's Speech and, and the Social Network are the two of them. Check this one out. This is easily one of the best films of the year. I definitely want to do it because I haven't seen it. Oh, bad, bad. Go check it out. <laughs> now, uh, you said that Boise Theater is starting to heat up again. It's starting to get going again for the new year. Everybody sort of closed down for Christmas, but they're all back now. Uh, Tara just told us about the Boise Contemporary Theater's children's reading series. That's H.G. Wells, The Science of Fiction. If you've got young kids, that's a, a great thing. Check, take that them check really it out. Yeah, so. uh, don't forget about Grease, uh, the part of the Fred Meyer Broadway in Boise series. Uh, this weekend at the Morrison Center, you can get the tickets at IdahoTickets.com, or you can call 426 61609. Starlight Mountain Theater has seven brides for seven brothers. Uh, that's over at the CUNA Performing Arts Center. It's uh, been part of their season for 10 of the past 11 years. They're going to give it a rest for five years. So we want to check this out. Only two performances, January 21st and 22nd. Tickets and uh, information at starlightmt.org. Now we need to talk about Cash on Delivery because yes. uh, that's, film, that's the play I'm in. Uh, that's going to be over at the Boise Little Theater. It's a fun farce. It's, a, it's about a guy that's trying to defraud the government and all the inspectors come in at the day and you know they have mistaken identities and just just a British farce a lot of fun that opens up this weekend you can get information at uh, Boise little theater dot org or call three four two five one zero four it's gonna run weekends through January 28th now another play bedside matters was supposed to open up this weekend for stagecoach theater but they've lost their home so oh. they're looking for a new theater space uh, but we went down and we asked them to, you know how that search is going well, we lost our lease in our, in our current location here at Hillcrest uh, Shopping Center. Uh, we had 30 days to get out, uh, which means that we have to be out of this uh, location by January 12th. And uh, we are looking and have found a temporary location for our next play, uh, but are still looking for temporary locations for the rest of our season, uh, and then ultimately a permanent location. Uh, that uh, we can set up shop and, um, and begin our next season. Well, the show's going to go on uh, anyway. Uh, we uh, are going to push the show back from its original opening, which was this coming Friday, January 14th, to Friday the 28th of January. We need a permanent location and a more and a, a temporary, temporary location uh, because the place we're in right now is just for the one show and we have three more shows uh, left of the season. And we've built an identity here, uh, so we're really gonna miss uh, the location. We had just put in new carpet, uh, had, had uh, painted all the, uh, the walls. We've done some remodeling uh, about two months ago, uh, thinking we were gonna be here for a little longer, and unfortunately, uh, all of that uh, hard work is, uh, is now for naught. Now, for all you theater community, 
uh, especially the Stagecoach fans, I want you to know that we are going to continue the season. Uh, we're going to be here uh, for the rest of this season and hopefully for 30 more years after this. We're just looking for a new location. We've got one for the next show. The next show is going to go on. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be in a permanent location, uh, I, I hope, uh, and uh, bring you 30 more seasons of uh, wonderful theater. So we wish them best of luck over at Stagecoach Theater. Sounds great. Thanks, Sean. Okay. More stuff coming up as ETV continues with Weddings Week right here. Get ETV Entertainment Television 24 hours a day when you log on to ETV.